Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and C++ trainer. Now in this episode, I am going to discuss another function that was added to C++ 11, but I'm going to get there by first showing you why you might want it. So let's start with our custom build of Compiler Explorer that I've mentioned before that I have running here, where we get an output of what the program actually executed in the output here. And what we want to do is do some floating point number comparisons. So we're going to start with our standard min that we discussed in the last episode. And we're going to say we want to do the minimum of negative 3.0f and 2.0f. And this should really hopefully be negative 3. And it is. Now, what becomes interesting in floating point comparisons is what is the minimum of negative 3 and not a number, which is a value that you can certainly get in floating point operations. And it turns out here that we are given the value negative 3. But if we were to swap the order of parameters and do not a number and negative 3f, now we get not a number is the answer. And this comes down to if the implementation thinks that two values are equal, which one is it going to return? It's going to return the first one, basically. But what we have in C++11 is a new function called fmin. And fmin does a floating point comparison. And what it does is it says any value that is not a number is treated as though it were an empty placeholder value. And we can see here with our NAN and our negative 3.0f that we are getting negative 3. And if we swap the order of parameters again, then we should get negative 3 again. And the only way to actually get NAN back is if both values are NAN. Now, unfortunately, they didn't add any kind of initializer list version or variadic version. So if we wanted to do our variadic floating point minimum, just like we did in our last episode with our regular minimum, then we would need to implement it ourselves. And I've gone ahead and just pasted in this version from our last episode, which I strongly recommend that you go back and watch. So we can implement our variadic fmin, and we can in main now do something like this. And we should get 3.0 printed to the screen after we have included IO stream. An interesting note about the implementation of standard fmin is that it does not return a reference to the value that was selected. It returns an actual value here. So we have a bit of a problem with our implementation of our variadic min from the last episode. So let's look at this and see that we don't want to be taking a pointer. Instead, we want to be taking a value. And since it's a no longer a pointer, we want to get rid of that const. And we want to get rid of this dereference and that dereference and that. And that should get us mostly there. And there we go. So we have three being output to the screen. And we can continue to exercise our variadic fmin and still get three back. So this could have maybe some interesting uses depending on what you're doing with floating point math in your code that we can throw away all of the NAN values and get back just to the minimum and we have here negative 1.3. There you go. That is C11's fmin and again our variadic take on it. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.